interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Okay, how to install airbags on your car. As you can tell, I got a spring in there. What you need to do is you need to take your wheel off. I'm redoing the brakes, so I got the brakes off too. You don't really have to take those off in most cases, but like I said, I'm redoing all that anyway, so I got them off. What you need to do though is take that off. Then you come over here and you, you grab an airbag. You can't put them in like this. They got to be up and down. That's the important part. A lot of people forget that. And then what you do is you take it and you throw it right at the spring. And what you got to do is you got to hit the spring. It'll knock the spring out of the way and then the bag will go right in there. And then you have airbag suspension. Watch just like this. Sweet. And now she's airbagged. Casey's Customs. Today I'm going to be finishing up the airbag suspension on this 72 Chevy Suburban. I already did the back in the previous video. In this video I'm going to be working on the front end. Uh, the front ends, whenever you're doing an airbag kit, the front ends are always a lot harder. Uh, they're kind of more of a pain in the ass. I did buy a airbag kit that's supposed to come with everything, but the rear was supposed to come with everything and I basically ended up having to make all this stuff from scratch. So uh, I'm hoping it goes in a little bit better, but basically I'm ready to cut it all up and fabricate myself if I have to. So uh, the good news is this is a brand new motor and training we put in. So I got the front clip completely off, which makes it real nice to work on suspension when everything's just wide open. It's not the biggest deal in the world if the fender was on, but it's just that much nicer that it's all wide open. So let's get going. As you can tell, I got everything off, put over there. Um, I got new ball joints coming. These are shot, look how bad they are. Uh, I got new ball joints coming, but I'm gonna go ahead and still get the bag stuff all done. That way I can at least bolt the spindles back on and move it around if I have to. I gotta cut a couple things on the A-arms. I gotta cut that bracket off, and then I think there's another one up here. I gotta cut those off so that I can get these sat up in there where they need to be. Drill some holes, put some bolts in them, and then I can kind of start fitting my bags to see where I'm at, what I need. If it's too low, I can add a spacer. If it's not low enough, I can make a couple notches and stuff to give me, you know, some more room. But we'll find out. But like I said, I gotta cut some shit out first. So let's do that. <laughs>
mind and body just can't agree What I should do when I don't feel free You're not holding me back, I know We're young and we never take things slow done got the uh, front bags all installed I did the rear bags in another video in case you haven't seen that that was part one of this series uh, got the fronts done they're not quite as low as I thought they were gonna be but the good news is we still have a total of 10 inch drop uh, from I think it was actually nine and a half but 10 inches um, from where it was stock which I mean that's huge anybody anybody that's ever dropped a truck they know you know like a three inch drop kits like five or six hundred bucks so I mean we, we got 10 here which is crazy Another cool thing is um, I haven't done anything other than the bags. That's still stock, you know, frame. I can do a little mini notch in the back to get about three inches more of drop. And in the front, we can run a three inch drop spindle. So if I want to, I can get three more inches of drop out of it. Uh, I'm gonna leave that up to the customer. I'm gonna send them a bunch of pictures of it once it's, you know, where it's at today, basically, to see if they wanna go ahead and drop it a little bit more. I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably will, just cause it's, it's it, they're easy tricks. It's not, you know, like, you know, redoing everything. Throwing front spindles on, take an hour or two, no big deal. And then same thing with the rear notch. It's not too bad. What you do is you, you take a big pipe and you cut it in half and then you just, basically you're just making clearance for your axles while you're doing. Um, if I do those, I'll go ahead and I'll add it on to this video series. Also, the next video, I'm going to be wiring everything up, running all my airlines and all that stuff. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, check out some more of my other videos. To the place I know, I have a power to let things go. I'm so lost, I can't see the shore. Can't agree. What I should do when I 